Hey folks, I'm going to take a look at a classic old song now, Del Shannon's Runaway. The reason I like this is because it's got a nice minor to major shift from verse to chorus and it features a very classic chord sequence which you'll find in lots of songs. So let's just start with the intro, which um, the original is in B flat, or, but I think it was played in A and just tuned slightly sharp uh, because it sounds like an open chord. Um, so I'm going to play it in A flat. A minor. So what I'm just playing there is just an A and then strumming the A minor chord. Then hitting the bottom note and then adding a G. Open E to G. Nice and straightforward. And then the verse chords, it's this classic sequence of A minor to G to F to E7 or E. And then, for the chorus, we shift to an A major. Then to F sharp minor. It's a classic kind of uh, 50s chord sequence. A major, F minor. Then to a D, to an E, okay, so we got um, repeated A to F sharp minor, then wonder, wonder if she will stay, then it'll run away, A, D, run, 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 run away. And then an E7. And repeat. Okay, so that was the organ solo. Played it on guitar with my little organ pedal. And I'll just take that off to make it clear what I'm doing. So this solo is based around the chords of A minor, G, F, E, the first chords basically. And it uses a, an old trick of playing semitone below the chord tones to lead into the chord tones. So you can use this on lots of occasions. Django Reinhardt used to use this trick a lot, you know. So take the A minor, A, E, C. You get something like this, and in this case, they just use the G sharp. This one. So I'm playing A on five, G sharp, four, five, five, five. And then G. Then each chord tone of the G, I play the note below it and lead into it. So, so G, F sharp, G, C sharp, D, uh, A sharp, B, F sharp, G, A sharp, B, C sharp, D, F sharp, G. So, then I'm playing F, E, F, C, A. So again, chord tones. And then a trill of the E chord, E and F trilling. And then finishing with 
E F E D E D C D C B B. And then repeat. So, so we've got this very nice solo outlining the chords using the chord tones and sometimes notes that was semitone below. So it's a good trick you can use in lots of solos and um, that's a great example. So happy playing. <laughs>